Hello viewers, welcome to our channel Art of Learning. Here we have started the series of history of English literature in which we have discussed the introduction of Old English or Anglo-Saxon period in previous lectures. So in this lecture we will discuss the most famous epic poem of the age that is Beowulf. So don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so that you will be updated about the upcoming videos. So let's see what we will discuss in this particular lecture. So in this lecture we will discuss the introduction of the poem, the characters used in this poem, the plot of the poem and the themes of this poem. So let's have brief introduction of the poem. As I have already told you that this is uh, an epic poem. An epic poem is defined as a long poem. So this is also an epic poem because it's a long surviving poem of the old English. It is known as surviving poem because almost the work works of old English has been lost, but it is a surviving work of the poem of this age, and it is one of the most famous works of old English. And alliterative meter has been used in this poem. So now the question is arising that what is alliterative meter? So the alliterative meter is a form of verse in which half line of the verse is linked to the second half of the line by having same initial sounds. And this is a heroic epic poem. It is a heroic epic poem because it conveys the qualities of a hero. The poem that conveys the qualities of a hero is called a, a heroic poem. And it is based on the heroic qualities of Beowulf. Beowulf is the hero of this poem. And this whole poem is based on the qualities of Beowulf. It contains 3182 alliterative lines. Further, uh, it was written by an anonymous writer. No one knows who has written this poem, but it was believed that it has it, it was written by Scops, and Scops were the group of the poets of Old English, and it was written by one of them, and it was written in eighth or early eleventh century. It is not confirmed whether it was written in eighth or eleventh century. That's the, that's why both centuries can be considered as so we can consider both centuries that it was written in 8th century or 11th century its setting is at northern europe particularly in denmark and sweden around the 6th century further let's see how many characters has been used in this poem so there are almost uh, there are there are seven characters used in this poem first one is beowulf beowulf is the hero of the poem the king Hortker, who is the king of Danes. Grendel is a monster uh, who attacks the uh, Danes and Danes killed him. Grendel's mother. Grendel's mother is the mother of Grendel, who is a monster. She came to take the revenge of uh, her son. Dragon, Dragon is a powerful serpent who becomes angry on uh, Danes because one of the men from Danes has uh, stolen the cup of cup from his uh, from his uh, trier that's why he becomes angry upon them and Wiglaf Wiglaf is the relative of King Hortger Veltio is the wife of King Hortger thereafter the plot of this poem uh, has been discussed as the uh, it was started from the King Hortger who is the king of Danes in southern Denmark he rules over southern Denmark and he becomes rich after uh, winning a battle then he built a meals hall known as Herod to show his power uh, where he and his warriors came to eat food and enjoy the music and so on. Thereafter, Grendel, who is a monster, he came at Herod to eat the people who sleeps there and it becomes too difficult for them to live, to live in Herod. Thereafter, uh, the... Grendel, who is a monster, he becomes angry upon Danes because he does not like their music that was uh, uh, used by them in uh, Herod. Uh, so it uh, becomes difficult for people to sleep at Herod in the nights because uh, Grendel came there to eat them. That's why it becomes difficult for them to live, the live there at night. So this situation was continued until 12 years. After that, the young warrior that was known as Beowulf heard about that Grendel, a monster who is a monster. So uh, then Beowulf decides to fight Grendel and to save the Danes. Then he came at Herod with 15 companions by a watery route to fight with Grendel. Thereafter, uh, the uh, Beowulf came at 
dense then he asked hortger for permission to fight grendel because he wanted to he wanted hortger's permission to fight with grendel then hortger allow him to fight with grendel when night falls beowulf and his warriors slept at herot and at the night the beowulf becomes god Uh, and the grindel came and start to eat one eat warriors one by one in the night then then the grindel came near to the bio wolf then bio wolf seized him and separates his arms from his neck because he was famous for his grip as his grip was equal of 13 men he was one man but his grip was equal of 13 men and he was most famous for his grip and he fought with grindel grindel run tried to save his himself but at the end he ran away but he could not save his life and at the end he died his arms was hanged at the roof of herod as a sign of their victory then hortger arranged a function to celebrate victory and rewarded with rewarded beowulf with a treasure and the function was arranged at herod but they they were celebrating their victory because they were unaware about the upcoming uh, uh, upco- about the upcoming uh, sufferings so next in that party the mother of uh, the grindel appears to take the revenge of the death of her son so she ate an old danish warrior who, whose name was iskior who was an advisor of hortger and he was very important person to to hortger but she ate him then she came back to her home at the bottom of the lake in the morning beowulf went with his companions to fight with grindel's mother he has uh, uh, fought with grindel and killed him then he went to the mother of uh, the grindel to kill her thereafter uh, beowulf reached at the cave of grindel's mother where he found body of grindel and killed grindel's mother he fought with uh, he went to the cave of grindel's mother and then he fought with her and killed her at the end he cut her head and went back to herod to uh, to show them that he had cut the uh, head of grindel's mother then once again they became happy and they enjoyed their uh, music at herod the beowulf left herod all the people were sad at that time they were crying even the king hortger also cried and he considers beowulf as his son when he reached at his homeland when beowulf reached at his homeland that was jutes he his uncle king hyslek and queen hedged welcomed him at, at their homeland because he has won the uh, battle with grendel and grendel's mother that's why they they welcomed him at their homeland thereafter uh, his uncle rewarded him with a sword thereafter when king hyslek was killed by seeds the, the seeds has killed the uh, king hyslek then beowulf helped his son to become a king but his son was so young and inexperienced that's why beowulf took all the responsibilities of his kingdom and he ruled over there till 15 years when he becomes old he becomes so weak but still he have to uh, fulfill his responsibilities then one or one day uh, the person of person from his kingdom stole the, the cup of from the tree of a dragon who was a powerful serpent then the dragon dragon becomes so angry upon them and he started to burn their area he also burned the mead hall of beowulf then beowulf was too old and weak but he decides to fight with dragon thereafter he went to fight the dragon with his advisor wiglaf and other companions but his companions left him with wiglaf uh, without wiglaf who helped him in fighting with uh, a uh, dragon then uh, with the help of wiglaf he killed a dragon but he becomes so injured and died during his death he asked wiglaf to rule over his country and to fulfill his funeral ceremony then uh, the wiglaf he fulfilled his uh, funeral ceremony and at the end uh, wiglaf becomes the king of the state and he punished all the warriors who has left the beowulf during fight at the end let's see what themes we have found in this novel so in this uh, sorry in this poem so heroism is one of the most important themes of this poem because the whole poem is based on heroism 
because it shows the qualities of hero who is pure wolf that's why the theme of heroism is found in this novel the second theme of this novel is good and evil uh, the good qualities uh, possesses in uh, we found the good qualities in pure wolf and evil qualities in grendel in grendel's mother and in uh, serpent or in dragon uh, thereafter the third theme is myth myth is a thing that that cannot be considered as real as uh, the dames fought with uh, as the grendel came to eat dance and uh, the beowulf fought with dance he killed uh, the beowulf fought with grendel and he killed him then the grendel's mother came to re take revenge of his son and he of her son and she ate the at a person then the uh, there is a dragon who fight with men and it, it burnt the area that, that's all cannot be true it's a myth that's why we found this theme uh, in this poem thank you so much i hope it will be helpful for you